Very excited about our next guest. It's been more than two decades since Sharon and Ozzy let cameras into their homes for the first time, paving the way for many a reality TV show to come after them. Always a pretty open book family. The matriarch is now speaking about some of the toughest parts of her life in a brand new theatre show. From infidelity to betrayal and mental health issues, nothing she says is off limits. And we're going to be talking to her, talking to Sharon, in just a sec. <laughs> Goodness me. Goodness me. You're a mum and a half, aren't you? You don't cross you. <laughs> Don't cross. Oh, Sharon, it's <laughs> lovely to see you. Thank you for Thank coming you. in. I mean, just a glimpse. You two go back such a long way, we don't go, you? We go yeah. back a long, long way. Because when, when, well, when it was your sort of adventures as a, uh, as one of the judges and one of the mentors on X Factor, was when we first met. Yeah. Back in the early 2000s, yeah. really. Yeah, it I mean, was two, wasn't it? 2003. 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did it for three or four years. You carried on and, and champ. It was the most extraordinary experience for me being there, being part of it. Mm. Do you look back on that? that time fondly and, and sort of what we went through? Oh, very much so. Very, very much so. It was such fun in the early days. It really was. And we, we all had an innocence about it. We didn't know what the show was going to do. And it was just keeping the same crew and the mm. same... And then when, you know, Simon starts to change personalities a lot, you kind of lose that camaraderie mm. and, you know, that extended family which you loved and I, it's what we all loved watching as viewers as well so you're coming back to the uk yes i that... am i love that why it's november it's gray it's <laughs> miserable you live in la in a fabulous house what's bringing you back just um it's just time just time mm. you know i'm I was saying yesterday to somebody, I'm not really very American. You know, some people can go there and they kind of adapt and they change their persona and you become the country that you're living in, you know. Yeah. It's like, no. I mean, like, yesterday was Thanksgiving Day and, you know, years and years and years we've been there. And it's like, I've, I've not celebrated Thanksgiving, I've got... You, do you know what I'm yeah, saying? So I never became a full part of it then. Do the kids think they're American? Yeah, especially Jack, because yeah. he's got four babies, American babies. Yeah, of and course, your grandma. Wife, yeah. I mean, Sharon, that's extraordinary. How are you finding being a granny? I love it. I love it, love it. You get a whole second chance again, you know, mm. to hold those babies and love those babies. What do they call you? Is it granny? Is it grandma? No, it's Nana. Nana. And, and Ozzy is Papa. Amazing. So you're you're coming back. So the grandkids are going to be a bit far away, but you want to come back. How is Ozzy doing? Because mm. I know it's been a tough few years, isn't it? Oh, um, a nightmare. Five years of nightmares and operations, and just just you know, I I do not know how he has stood for it, you Gosh. know. But he's he's good. He's no more operations. They're all done, and he's looking forward to coming back. He is. But he's the one that has been here the least of the whole family, because his work, work and life has yes. taken him away. Yeah, and so he's um, he's excited, but he's a little bit scary. He what? goes, I won't know anyone anymore. <laughs> oh. It's all right. Everyone will still love and know him. That's Everyone. the most important thing. Tell us about this show that you're doing. You're going on tour with Jane Moore, who is a, a formidable interviewer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Time and journalist, and I know she's a good family friend. Yeah. What are you going to be sharing with, with the people that come and watch your show, Sharon? Well, whatever Jane wants to ask me, and we've made it that I don't know what she's going to ask okay. about my life, about how I feel about certain situations. And... Um, so I don't know, I'll just be, you know, it's a QA, and a I'll just be answering her questions. And you'll do everything completely openly? Yeah, and no, no rehearsals, no planning, well, you say this and I'll come in and do that. And right. So that it's really organic, because otherwise the audience can pick up when it's staged, I mm. always feel. So I want it to be really organic, off the top of my head. The audience can ask me questions too and mm. just, just have a fun 
Sometimes I'm that back. can get you into trouble, though, Jack. You know I'm always in trouble. <laughs> I know! <laughs> always in so trouble. So you're going to be back with a vengeance, yeah. then? Yeah. <laughs> Stirring uh, the pot. It is, but as Kate said, and the thing is, you've always been very open. If someone asks you a question, you give them the answer. You've never been shy about who you are, how you live your life. You've had an extraordinary weight loss as well. You've mm. talked a lot about the sort of the, the, the injections that mm -hmm. you've had. How is, how, what's your attitude towards what you've been through with the Zempic and, and actually your sort of the implications of that for other people? Well, my only fear, I mean, look, it does what it says on the packet, it absolutely does. But my only fear is that it's put in the right hands. I don't think it's for teenagers at all. I'm scared for like 16 to 20 year olds because, because it's easy to say, this is it, I can eat what I want. I keep taking this injection. And I'm like this. And I just think it um, needs to be in the hands of older people that totally understand there could be side effects mm. to this, yada, yada, yeah. and I don't want young girls because the world we live in today, everybody wants to be skinny. So the drug was developed for people trying to handle type 2 diabetes and to get their weight down dramatically. Yes. Why did you take it? Because you've been very open about being very conscious about your weight mm -hmm. in the past, not from external sources, but from even as a little girl, always going yeah. and weighing yourself on those, those big mold machines. People forget those now that we used to be on stations. Yeah. So why did you take it now? Um, I was just fed up of going back and forth mm. with my weight constantly, constantly like this. And I, I just thought, I've tried everything, everything mm. I've tried. Mm. And so I thought, well, might as well try it. And I did. And you feel happy with the weight you are now? Because people are, have been concerned that you're very slim. Um, yeah, but I, I, would, I could do with putting on a few pounds. Mm. But at this point, the way my body is, it's not listening, it's staying where right. it is. Interesting. Yeah. So. And what does Ozzy make of it? He doesn't like it. OK. Really? No, he doesn't like it he at thinks all. You're he thinks you're too slim. He per yeah, with a and he's longer. scared that... Oh, look. Oh. Bye, hubby. He thinks that um, it's something's going to happen to me. This is it. There's got to be... There's nothing that's perfect. Mm. If you've got skiddy, then something else is going to happen. He's always like... Thinking, thinking about the yeah. downside. It's too too good to be true. It's an interesting warning, though, isn't it, to understand, actually, if you think that there is a case for young people, young, that mm. could get quite addicted to the feeling of it, then that's yeah. something that's worth... Yeah, worth, the certainly easiness worth eating. of having that life where you can eat and yeah. it's... Can we ask quickly about Anything. the <laughs> uh, the Ozzy Osbourne film, the oh, film yeah. about his life, about your life? Yes. Where are you with that? I know the script's taken a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, and because of the strike, yes. you know, this year has just been a total wash. But Lee Hall, the writer, is working on it, and we've um, we're signed to Sony Movies, and they're going to be the ones actually making it. And Lee Hall is writing it. And the casting of it, though, Sharon, have you, you must have all sat around the kitchen table with all the kids going, who's going to play Dad? Who's going to play Mum? Who's... Uh, what's... Um, I think for Ozzy, it needs to be a completely unknown actor. Right. Ah. I really do. I think, like, the way they cast Elvis with a young, yes. up-and-coming actor. Ah. You know, cos if you've been around too long and then you see you playing different characters and it's like, oh, Oh, it's him again. He's play Who is he playing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was and incredible. And for you, uh, we've been asking our viewers who should play you. One of the most popular is Catherine Zeta-Jones. How do you feel about that? Um, I love her. I think she's yeah. fantastic. But the movie is about when we were in our 20s. Ah, uh, so it's got to be someone a little bit younger. younger. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. So an unknown for Ozzy. Yeah. And a Brummy? Someone from the Midlands, ideally? Oh, that would be perfect. Wouldn't it be amazing? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Sharon, it's so lovely to see you. We could talk to you all day. So Thank you so lovely. much for coming in. Thanks. Can't wait to see your show, Are you Sharon Unleashed. Yes. It's going to be fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> can't begin to imagine the trouble she's going to get into as oh, well. You, oh, can you only imagine? Can't wait. I can't wait for the headlines. <laughs> no, and, and, and it's like <laughs> the whole family is going, don't do it, Mum, don't. No, 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 <laughs> you please never listen. don't do it. You never... <laughs> Amazing. No, I don't. Sharon, thanks for coming in. Let me Thank see. you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Kate. You.